Happy birthday to you. I'm trying to sing all sexy. Is that your, your Marilyn Monroe version? Happy birthday to you. Wow. Happy birthday, Mr. Kauna. It's Shower Khan's birthday. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex. Happy birthday, SRK. <laughs> How old is he? Is he older than you? Let's see. Let's find these things out, shall we? You are around the same age, no? We are around the same age. I think he's a, I think he's a year older than me. Oh no, I was wrong. I think he turns fifty-eight today. Oh, and you, and you're what? 54? I'm fifty-four. Yeah, fifty-four. Anyways, yeah, he is. Uh, he's four years. He's four years my senior. Well, happy birthday to the senior. Uh, what do they? What do? Uh, what do they? And like when Kamal San talks about like um, older actors than him, do they call him Sob or is that something else? Don't know. Like when they show respect to like somebody who's their senior, even though like they're at like the same place in terms of like stardom. Yeah. It's a, is it know. Sob or is it G? G's just for Lada, right? Is that? I don't uh. Know. Well, it depends because, like, there's Ustaji Zakir Hussain. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's, or do they? Does he just call him Sir? And that's what I'm thinking. I don't. Know. Anyway, that's all this is about. Uh, you know what? You're here. Obviously, the first is this the first ever thing outside of when the announcement of the... outside of the announcement. I think that's absolutely correct. And obviously, they've I think had a poster, maybe, uh, yeah. but a vague poster at that. I think, I think, I think this think is the correct. first thing we're ever seeing from Donkey outside of when they first announced it. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe that's very normal for Rajkumar Harani. This will be our first Rajkumar Harani film in like new film in right, theaters, like a new release. Uh, we've seen all of his other films. So if you haven't seen our review of all of his other films, please go watch those. We've seen every single one of Rajkumar Harani's films now. Yep. Very excited about this one. The the third in the trilogy of Shah Rukh Khan of 2023. Um donkey uh and it uh srk posted uh something on twitter when you posted the teaser he said a story of a simple and real people trying to fulfill their dreams and desires of friendship love and being together of being in a relationship called home a heartwarming story by a heartwarming storyteller it's an honor to be part of this journey and i hope to you will all come along with us Donkey Drop One is what they're calling this. Is here. Okay. Donkey and, Drop. <laughs> Donkey Drop. And it has Shabra Khan, Tapsi Panu, Bowman Arani, and Vicky Kershaw. Rock and roll. Heck of a cast. No joke. Heck of a cast. All right. Let's just get into this. I'm hoping for some Raj Kumar Harani flair. He has a very distinct style of filmmaking, which is uh, fun to watch. Agreed. All right. Let's do it. All right. Uh, three, two, one. Nikle. Oh, wow. Yeah, we know who you are. I was thinking that after that, England will think about it. Why do you eat my face? I'm thinking that after that, I was thinking that I was thinking that I was thinking that Dadi 
मेरी पूरी फैमिली है ये चार उल्लू दे पट्टे जो लंदन जाना चाहते हैं उनमें एक लड़की है मनु हमारा जो पहला बच्चा होगा ना उसका नाम मैं आप पे रखू आप अपना नाम बताओ बस कोई बात नहीं सर हम लिख के दे दो Coming soon, drop two. They're calling him drops. Uh, may, um, do you think that's a reason because it's called Donkey? Do you think they're calling it Donkey? <laughs> <I don't>, maybe. <laughs> do you think it's because of the pronunciation? Maybe. Uh, the uh, synopsis on IMDb is a rampant use of a illegal backdoor route called Donkey Fight mm. by Indians to immigrate to countries like Canada and the United States. Is the uh, synopsis there? Yeah. A uh, couple things. The first one. You, he he resembled his character in fat yeah in that close up right yeah i think that's most definitely a flashback yeah yeah and they're just you they're just they're like we have this technology i guess we're going to use it all the time now for sure <laughs> and bowman's looking full blown bowman isn't he oh he has to that's oh. his mu- like oh every director has like their muses right and that yeah. i feel like bowman arani is rajkumar harani's uh, and that his, that his one muse. That one clip was exactly what I would want from seeing Bowman and Ronnie in this thing. Exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it I, I, um, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward because it, it felt Rajkumar Harani. Yep. It felt like it's going to have, it's going to be fun. It's going to be commercial. That's like staples of him. Yep. Like it, it has to be something that the whole family is going to have fun in yeah. coming to watch, but also usually always has a deep message behind it. i think uh, every single one of his films right i'm from uh moonabai yes to moonabai 2 right yep um, yep to pk obviously to obviously. Three, three idiots to what am i missing oh sanju even mm-hmm. uh even though that was probably the one that um the least like him but still had his fingerprint on it yeah they've all got heart they've all got heart they got heart and they got a, a nice message to them. Yeah. But they're very distinctly his style and um fun and and like in a enjoy. It's actually kind of funny that was stars his? No, stars isn't his, right? No, I don't believe that was his. Okay. Um what am I missing? I said three idiots and PK, right? You did say that, yes. Okay, gotcha. And um, the, and Munabai wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm shocked that like, yeah, I know he's done only done so few films and he's known as like the director without any flops, but how the hem and Shah Rukh Khan have never worked together. It just seems like they would have a long time ago. Right. Yeah. You would think, but thankfully they have now. And I love, I mean, it felt like a lot more cards were held up close to the vest with this, which I'm thankful for. Don't give too much away. Just let us get a taste. I think it was exactly what people are probably looking for. And uh, when do we know when the second drop? Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it's I don't know if it's like a donkey drop or like droppings or if it's like I the, want it to the, be the, the um what it said on IMDb, the uh illegal backdoor route. So, so it's like a drop right of of stuff my, like that. My guess. Is it's that it's yeah. drop like you drop off the person to the route, but for you and I, it's donkey drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So Vicky obviously worked with Rashkumar on Sanju, right? Obviously, mm-hmm. right. And has Tapsy worked with? I uh, I don't think she has, right? Because it would have to be Sanju, because that's his I most think, recent. Yeah, I don't think so. She hasn't worked with him, but that's great that has this phenomenal cast because the. It, um, something that is is so strange with his films, outside of Bowman Arani, <laughs> he's his own thing in <laughs> Rajkumar Arani films. Yeah, he's, he is his own thing. Um, everybody like, especially his leads, even though there might be these ridiculous moments, I feel like a lot of times his leads are pretty grounded. Munabai, yeah. even even though yeah. those pictures are ridiculous, they're still pretty grounded in in um like for for heart reasons, right? 
Yeah. And let's say, oh, obviously, Amir Khan and, and PK and three idiots, yep. ex- even though extremely silly moments. Yes. Uh, and Sanju, once again, probably had the least of all of that, but still had its silly moments. But obviously, mm-hmm. the groundedness of the great Ren Beer performance and uh, Vicky Kershaw and that was actually fun, actually really, really, really good. Yeah. So that, that's just another thing I've, I've come to expect. He has every single time I think I've seen a film, at least since I've known about him, because obviously the first film we saw and then PK, we didn't really register who Raj Kumar Rani is in terms of Indian cinema. Yeah. But now that I do, he has such a unique style of cinema. He does. And he does the quirky things that aren't throughout the entirety of it. They're like these endearing moments that are forgivable in terms of just the, the baseline reality groundedness that he predominantly wants throughout films. But obviously with Bowman being the exception throughout, because Bowman is always like the guilty pleasure. Yeah, but um, he loves he loves the silly moments. He films, loves man. silly moments, and they work. It's amazing how much he can incorporate the silly into really deeply moving moments in all of those films. I'm yeah, expecting that in this. It, oh, you think we get some whistles? Yeah, some, I'm, uh, I'm, some, I'm some, expecting, some... especially with Bowman, man. I'm expecting some silly. I think we got a little hint of it with the. Uh, then if I ever go to London, may my grandma die. And then here, <laughs> I think we're going to get typical, some silly stuff with some deeply moving and endearing stuff. I think it'll be very interesting to see how this film does with obviously Shah Rukh Khan box office wise has had a, one of the greatest years yeah. ever uh, year. in, in terms of a box office. So does Raj Kumar Harani type film that's not a big action film? That's more of a family heart entertainer. Is that going to get the same reception? Is that going to get people going to the theater still? It's Shah Rukh Khan, so you'd think so. But that's not what has been working, really. My my hope would be if it's, let's assume it's going to be as good as his past films. Yeah. My hope would be is it would be the biggest of all three because people would want to go see the stuff that has the beautiful storytelling, the moral to the story that makes you feel more connected to the human experience. But I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Even though in the past, I think it would have. And I think everybody predicted in, and maybe I'm totally wrong. Obviously I could be totally surprised. I, I think, in the, so. I think before Patan and Juwan came out, everybody was probably predicting that donkey with Raj Kumar Rani is going to be the big hit. Um, and maybe it will be. Who knows? I hope it is. I hope it lives up to the expectations and that it it really, really is, especially if it's as good as his other films, it's gonna probably be my favorite of the three. Yeah. Um if it's if it's just even if the you just take the lowest one, which we still enjoyed, Sanju, mm-hmm. but that would be his well. Moon by two was probably our yeah. least favorite just because we didn't we didn't really get it as much as I think Indians did. But we still liked it. Yeah, we still liked it, but it yeah. definitely it definitely didn't live it up to the Moon by one. No, no, it, it wasn't like Moon by one, and it definitely wasn't uh, up to like PK and three idiots. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I yeah, that's probably the least. But in terms of recent, I guess if it's just as good as Sanju, I think I would hope it's better than Sanju, obviously. Yeah. Um, but uh, he has a pretty darn good track record, but also the people with the greatest track records don't always hit <laughs> either. So yes. you never know until you see it, if it's actually going to work, but uh, it looked good. It looked like what I wanted from a Rajkumar Rani Shah Rukh Khan collaboration. Obviously we'll see what else comes out. I'm sure the songs will be, we've had some iconic songs in all of them, right? Oh, my stars. Yes. Especially three idiots, three idiots. obviously um, PK. What was the song in PK? Um, why am I forgetting a song? I know there had to be a couple songs in there that I way. am too because now my brain's on. All, all I can hear is da 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 da. But then Moonabai, obviously Moonabai, MBS. Uh, Sanju, I don't remember much. I don't remember that either, and I'm trying to really rack my brain in regard to anything from PK. Wait, there's what song are we forgetting from PK? Let's see. Hold on. And then we'll end this. Sorry. 
I, me okay. I remember a musical montage, but I don't remember a musical number in Phuket. I'd have to hear them. I'm just seeing these dance, like these uh, names, and I don't, I don't recognize. But it's been them. a long. It's also been a long time since I've seen Phuket. Well, over four years. Yeah. Anyways, that was good. Let us know what you thought about the teaser. If you're excited for Donkey and the next Donkey droppings uh, to come out, let us know down below. <laughs> Just